Dr. Jim Caviezel and former ambassador at large for international religious freedom, Sam Brownback, are headlining the annual March for the Martyrs tomorrow in the nation's capital. The rally kicks off at 3 p.m. on the National Mall, followed by the march. Around 365 million Christians are persecuted each year, with that number on the rise. Recently, we spoke with a founder of the March for the Martyrs. And here with more is the founder of the event, Gia Chacon. Gia, great to be with you today. Um, tell us a little bit more about this year's march. I know you have some pretty big, heavy hitters that are headlining the event. March for the Martyrs is happening on Saturday. And yes, Tracy, we are very excited that Jim Caviezel will be joining us as a keynote speaker. So the march begins on the National Mall with a kickoff rally, and then we will move through the streets of Washington and end with a night of prayer for the persecuted at the Museum of the Bible, which is where we will hear from Jim Caviezel alongside Ambassador Sam Brownback, the former ambassador at large for international religious freedom, We'll also hear from survivors of persecution, um, as well as other experts on the issue. And this year, we are focusing particularly on Armenia, Iran, and Nigeria. And, and Gia, tell us why you're doing that. Why those countries? Well, right now, Tracy, many people don't know that there is another genocide happening in Armenia. We had Azerbaijan go into a historically Armenian region. Uh, Artsakh or Nagorno-Karabakh, and as a result of this invasion, over 120,000 Christian Armenians were pushed out of their homes, their history was destroyed, and this was an, an attempt at an ethnic cleansing of the Armenian Christians who have been in this region for uh, hundreds of years, and even before it was Armenian Christian, Armenians had inhabited this land. Uh, so that is happening right now, and it is completely overlooked by the mainstream media. It's also um, gone under the radar or supposedly under the radar of the Biden administration. They're not doing enough to protect uh, Christians in Armenia. So we're focusing a lot on in our program on what's happening there. We're also focusing on Nigeria because according to a report that was released by Inter Society, which is a nonprofit organization on the ground in the country, over 8,000 Christians were slaughtered in 2023 alone in Nigeria. And yet this country is not a country of particular concern for the United States State Department. So we're bringing attention to what's happening there. And then in Iran, there's ongoing human rights abuses, but particularly for the church, it's illegal to convert to Christianity and it's illegal to evangelize. And as a result of this, many Christians are being imprisoned and even sentenced to death because of their faith. And Gia, I know you've been holding this march every year to bring awareness to Christian persecution. Talk to us about how it's grown through the years and what type of impact it's been having. Well, it is absolutely beautiful to see Christians of all denominations and all ages come together as one voice for the persecuted. We've seen this movement grow every single year. We uh, are able to bring in more groups. And what's beautiful about it, Tracy, is it's not just Catholics. It's not just, you know, evangelicals from the D.C. area. It also brings in Orthodox communities. Um, Armenian Christians come. We have Assyrian Christians from Iraq uh, that participate in the march. Nigerian Christians, Christians from Ethiopia. Um, so it's beautiful to see just the diversity in the crowd. And it really is a picture and a reflection of the global body of Christ. Uh, so we love seeing that and we love seeing that grow each year, but also through our social media efforts and our uh, different ways that we're raising awareness. March for the Martyrs has really been able to lead the movement in bringing awareness uh, throughout different social media channels. Gia, thank you for starting it. We appreciate it. Thank you for speaking with us, and good luck with the march this weekend. Thank you, Tracy.